while we are earning, we will fulfill our obligations unto the Almighty. So if you earn and you make sure your earning is legitimate, you are already preparing for the hereafter. If you are earning and you make sure you are fulfilling the other duties that you have upon you, for example, your daily prayer, your dress code, your character and conduct, so many other things, what you eat, it doesn't mean that because I can afford to go to a nightclub and have consume alcohol and have a few drugs, that I should do it and I can do it because I can afford it. No. Discipline is required. You need to practice restraint. If you go into that life, you will pay for it. You will pay for it. If you decide to lose yourself in something by thinking you're going to enjoy for a little while, that enjoyment is very, very short-lived. You pay for it. How? You've lost your money. You've lost your sanity. While you were wasted, you did something that, that resulted in a huge problem. Recently, I came across an example of an unwanted pregnancy, so to speak, because a young girl went into a club, wasted herself, and what happened? She came back without realizing what she's done while she was there. She was already expecting, who's the dad? No idea. How do you think the parents must have felt? How, how can we help a person like that? We, we, we have to anyway, but what are we going to say to make it easy? You should have just been a little bit more in control of yourself. But it's too late. Now you understand. So we need to be disciplined. We need to be people who understand, who think, who realize the, the, the importance of living a life in such a way that we not only prepare for this world, but we have preparation for the hereafter. Because I tell you, when our eyes are closed one day, our big homes, our jobs, our posts, everything else, would only come to our assistance if, while we were there, we did something good. People remember you and they say, Rahmatullahi alayhi, Rahimahullah. I'm sure you've heard the term, right? May Allah have mercy on his soul. May Allah have mercy on her soul.